take two on the tutorial here. Let's go from the save state this time. Have a little run back with the uh, demon dog here. Or gigantic hopping skull. Whatever people prefer. I gotta turn down my headset a lot so I can hear myself talk. So anyway, this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> After that, you uh, death warp to go back to conflate. Now this is very important. The guru <laughs> People in town say the guru in conflate is an important man, and they're not kidding. You can't beat the game without talking to him a second time. So that's you have the battle suit that triggers this dialogue. He gives you the ring of dwarf that you can use to go to the next area. Whoops. Gotta pause this thing. Alright. <laughs> so he talks a lot about, you know, you need the other battle armors to use the Dragon Slayer, but we don't want to use the Dragon Slayer. We're just gonna, you know, beat the game. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So I screwed this screen up badly. I'm gonna do it again. With meat. <laughs> Just gonna frame skip my way through it here. Thanks, Bill. Okay, so watch my input display here. Oh, that was too fast. Okay. Whoa, you can jump over that fireball? Okay, again. <laughs> Bill, hook me up! <laughs> okay. So, what I'm doing here is going for a double stab. Yeah, like that. And then a deluge to follow up. See how, now that I have the magical rod, it only takes one deluge and two hits from the longsword to kill those white mage enemies. So yeah, jump, jump up the stairs so you can get halfway up there. So now health is really important in this last section of the game. So I'm actually not going to walk through that guy. Now you want to revisit this screen as well. This one with the two birds on it because there's white men there. We're going to use it to get to the next town completely hassle-free. Except not. Did I miscount? Or did going into conflate secretly alter my counter? I don't know. I'm distraught. But anyway, this is supposed to be third visit. Alright, so I'm going to take a quick save state here. Uh, I'm going to talk about the next screen, which is known as the location of the infamous heel jump. So, I'll pause, I'll try to just do it once and then explain it. No, I blew it. Okay, so by holding your walking speed, like keeping your walking speed going all the way forward, you have a two frame window to make that jump. Of course, the safe way to do it, which I do in all my runs now, is to just lose your walk speed. You lose like a second and a half. All this so you can risk not losing the run. I don't know, I just press A really fast and usually it works, but... <laughs> Uh, I still don't recommend that. So, uh, yeah, these screens are pretty much the same, though, minus the whole taking damage. Excuse me. Both hands on the controller, couldn't mute. <laughs> you know, this guy runs around, you ignore him because you have ointment. That screen might take some practice, because I did the whole, uh, jumping up two steps, uh, technique. Uh-oh. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> I'll be able to tell clearly from the video that I forgot to press up. So, if your ointment runs out here, this guy will hit you. He won't let you go down the ladder. But otherwise, you just go down the ladder, and you should be able to jump over the bird. Except uh, everything was kind of out of sync there. Wow, I lost walking speed just going in here. Oops. That's not how you talk to Bill. Nobody talks to Bill that way. Alright. So, yeah, if. <laughs> so let's pretend I should be down two deluges from the start there. Okay, but you should have full health otherwise. So you'll get pushed to the right if you just jump up, wait a little bit, and go underneath the B. Uh, you can walk through the second skeleton, but you'll take a lot more damage. And like I said, health is really important to have here. Not just for safety, but because it allows a very, very important time saving damage boost way later on. So you can't open that door unless you have the Ring of Dwarfs, so... Especially remember to talk to the Guru in Conflate. Punch this guy once to get him out of the way. Get your health back. Uh, I'm gonna take another save state here. 
This is the normal way to do it, but oops, you have the option to go off to the right and you'll get damage boosted. But this costs a fair bit of health and you will barely survive the last section of the game, so I I don't know if it's worth saving the however many frames. Uh, you have to wait a little bit. Actually, yeah, I'm going to load the state again just to show what happens if you uh, if you do that screen with the bees on it full speed. And I'm just not going to shoot a deluge there. It only saves frames. But yeah, if you go full speed here, you go to jump, you bump into the bee. So... Just take the time to get yourself lined up on the ladder. Like this. Those jumps are a little bit tricky. Might take some practice. So this guy dies on a double stab and a deluge as well, but <laughs> it might take you a while to learn like how close you have to get to draw aggro. Okay, so here is where we use wing boots. I'm gonna do the... Actually, I'm gonna do the no pausing first. So you'll probably lose three seconds on the first screen. Game's gonna lag right there by shooting this deluge, but it's worth it. That's a very tight spacing to get the double stab on the bird and hit the B through it, but you have to stop walking and Stand in the right spot. Uh, didn't get the rejump. Wait, why am I going up here? I'm not supposed to go up here. Whatever. Consider this the safe version, I guess. If you want to have full health, you can go up top there. Oh, I'm missing all my rejumps, too. Okay, so this is King Grieve, the giant dragon. You want to open the fight with a deluge? And then just uh, bump the back of your head against the ceiling right here. And there you go. Shoot a lot of deluges while you're up there. Um, I'll show what happens on the next attempt if you get too close. And your wing boots are going to run out right on time here. Got one rejump. Okay, so you're going to go one, two, three, four. There's ointment on this screen, but you need it to appear next time. So you have enough health, you can just walk into the banana squid there, and you'll still be invincible. Oops. I was a little slow coming down the ladder, so I can't slip into the the cathedral here. And this guy just explains the plot and gives you the demon's ring. So, um, I have so much health I can just, like, ignore whatever this thing does. I can just go like this. <laughs> that was a good jump onto the ladder. But it takes so long to climb it. And if you have lots of health, about yeah that much, you can just walk through the doughy worm guy and get this ointment. Uh, this ointment lasts long enough to beat the, in the rest of the game on. So but Remember I have this uh, suspicious theory, <laughs> this paranoid theory that uh, ointment and wing boots can be on separate timers, so you actually don't want to pause on this last section here. Uh, get rejumps if you can, no big deal if you can't though. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Jump again, because there's a little peg keeping you from walking into the next screen. Oh, I'm missing all my rejumps. I'm so rusty at this game. And that's also really bad. Uh, you can notice I was standing on the ladder there. But I didn't press jump quick enough, so I fell down. Yeah, I should have like 18 or 19 on the clock there. I might actually die. No rejump here either. Oh, that's that's a really important one to get too, because you get a free rejump into the next screen too. But at least I have lots of magic, so. This is the evil one, the final boss of the game. You want to push him against the left wall. And nice, I beat the game before either timer ran out. So that's where timing stops when the music changes, because notice how I'm not pressing directions, but I'm jumping up to the king here. So I don't have control of my character anymore, which is often how Speed Demos Archive determines uh, time. Okay, so let's do that uh, Let's do that whole section again, uh, maybe a little slower. And also showing uh, what changes if you're doing uh, wing boot pausing. And hopefully I can actually get some rejumps going on here. Okay, so wing boot... This is probably... Uh, the second most important uh, 
wing boot pause you can learn to do. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Okay, let me start that over again. I gotta admit I don't have a good visual cue here, because your timer can start like anywhere, and this is a pretty long screen, so... Usually you'll have to pause uh, as you get closer to the door. Oh, that was bad, I missed that one. That's a tricky pause to get because of the, the lag. I'm just gonna take a deep breath there. I'm gonna lose that wing boot second, because it's more important that you don't take damage and uh, get that bird out of the way. Bird does a lot of damage. These pauses are really bad, though. Uh, this screen's pretty easy. I just like get a feel for it based on what the Minotaurs are doing. This guy, you just punch out of the way and fly up. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, that that was a good attempt. That pause there. Um. Okay. <laughs> I was just so mad. I had to go for that uh, rejump again. So again, same thing. I don't pause during this fight because there's too much lag, and you want to be focused on well mashing and doing the deeps. Okay, that was good. 14 on the clock is pretty good. Take a deep breath before the door. You often lose a second right before the door. Got that re-jump there. That was good. Again, two, three, four. Oh, that was a bad pause. Okay, I was right. That first uh, wing boot second is like right as soon as you get in the screen. I'll have to learn that one. I actually am not that familiar with these wing boot pauses. Again, this guy's just plot. I noticed uh, I made it into uh, the cathedral this time. If you have wing boots going, you climb ladders faster, so... Okay, so I should have enough to get up here. Um, nope. <laughs> okay, climbing up with speed is a little more important than re-jumps, but you get the idea. If you can re-jump up the entire ladder, that's awesome. So, that's probably the single most important one to practice, though. It's the longest ladder in the game that you encounter with wing boots for sure. And uh, yeah, again the ending section in the game is exactly the same because you don't want to pause during it. So let's see if I can have a better go of it this time. Oh my god, I can't do re-jumps today! Can't do re-jumps ever! <laughs> You're gonna lose a second right before you get out of the door. Try not to worry about it too much. So let's see if I can do this properly. Okay, that was good. That was really good. Normally you always have 25 on the clock, but I have 26. So that means I'm ahead. That's the power of rejumps. Save you a wing boot second when you otherwise couldn't. Make sure to jump over poison. Okay. I want this re-jump. There we go. <laughs> that was actually really bad coming into the screen, but... Seven on the clock, or six on the clock, rather. Should be okay. Make sure you spend all your magic by the time the game's over. You want to try to avoid this seeing this dialogue before the game ends, because that'll hurt your time. So That's why clean execution is important. That's why not getting salty and trying to do re-jumps again is pretty bad for you. Um, okay. I feel like there was one more thing I had to cover. There was something I missed. I don't know. I guess I'll just show off this uh, password I used to practice uh, the end of the game, in case you refuse to play on emulator for some reason. I did practice on console a lot, so I was just entering this password in from memory a lot. It already has the Ring of Dwarf, so you don't have to talk to the guru. Ah, that was bad. So yeah, remember, don't shoot that first deluge too early. Because your enemies have an invincibility window. Thanks, Bill. Ah, oh, I can't seem to do it! I'm actually just going to keep trying this. Of course, if you want to spare your magic for the, you know, those two boss battles, each of those, each King Grieve and the Evil One, each have 250 HP. There we go. I feel like there might be a way to just uh, take them both out without taking a hit. I should practice that on stream later. I'm just gonna quickly restart the stream when this is over, though, just for easy highlighting. Okay, so one. 
to... Let's see if I'm right about the screen outside of Conflate secretly being an item screen. Oh, I... Wait, no. That's not it at all. It's because I used the password. It's actually on fourth visit, which is right now. There we go. So there's the ointment. I guess I'll show off uh, how to recover in case you miss the heel jump and fall down. Or you can get the heel jump, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, those stairs are really awkward. Remember to jump. Yeah, see how long this takes? Like, you're you're wiggling back and forth so much just to get through the screens. And this also uh, changes your visits counter by plus one. And yeah, don't don't fall down on these ladders. That's why I wanted to do this again. But my ointment ran out already, going as pretty much as fast as I could. And that ghost is serious business. And I guess I'll show it. Uh, if you don't want to use magic on the screen outside of this town, I guess I'll show what that looks like. But I'll show you how much damage it takes. It's just not worth it. That guy will push you to the right. Maybe it is worth it, actually. That seems a lot faster. Hmm. I'm gonna keep going and see if I have enough health to do that, uh, really important damage boost, as I called it. Oh, dang! Now I definitely don't. Uh... Alright then, tutorial over. I'm gonna keep some secrets, I guess. <laughs> So that's, I guess, a pretty basic tutorial, but uh, yeah, there's still many more secrets left for me to discover, and for you to discover if you decide to start running Faxanadu. Pretty good game to run, so thanks for watching all the way to the end. I might redo part one, because it was way too long, <laughs> but now you know all the basic game mechanics and the route for the speedrun, so happy running.